Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken, and welcome to JTAG Tutorials Episode 13. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get video files to play on your JTAG. Um, I thought this was a useful tutorial to make because we've got quite a lot of content content on our JTAG already. We've got like uh, original Xbox games working, Xbox 360 games, arcade and indie games. We've got emulators and all that stuff running, uh, and it would be good to be able to play. Um, video files as well if you've got any films that are converted into certain formats like mp4 um, the, the formats that are actually playable are like mp4, avi, divx, xvid, um, wmv all those kind of common video formats that are all playable and uh, I wasn't really going to make this tutorial to begin with because this can also be done on a retail Xbox so it's not really like a JTAG tutorial but on a retail Xbox you have to uh, download an update from Xbox Live whereas with the JTAG we can't do that so we're going to have to install it manually uh, which I'm going to be showing you how to do and the reason I'm making this tutorial is I got a uh, request I think it was from the same person twice, but whatever. It, I got a request anyway, so I'm going to make it. Uh, so basically, um, DVDs are not going to work properly. Uh, if you're trying to back up a DVD to the hard drive, um, then what you can do is you can put your DVD into your Xbox and then on XEX menu, use the copy DVD function to copy it to the hard drive. That will work, um, but the the um, files will be in .vob. For an example, and let me just say this is for backup purposes only, um, just in case your disk gets scratched or damaged, you might want to do this, but um, it is for backup purposes only. Basically, I've done one as an example. I've backed up a DVD using XX menu. I don't think freestyle dashes copy DVD function works on an actual DVD, um, but it works. Uh, the XX menu one works. So if you want to do that, um, I've backed up a film called Eagle Eye. If you've heard of that film, it's quite good. Well, I like it anyway. So um, you'll you'll end up backing up two folders, and in the video one, you'll have all of this like. VOB file formats, these are not playable uh, even with this update that I'm going to show you how to install, VOB files are not playable so if you're trying to back up a DVD that you can play on your Xbox from the hard drive it's not going to work there's one way you can do it and that is by downloading a freeware program called VOB to AVI converter and you can like open the VOB file and then convert it into any format uh, so MPEG, DivX, WMV, MOV I think maybe MOV works I'm not sure, XVID will work uh, and they'll all be playable on the Xbox and you can convert them using that um, but mainly it's just for playing video files in general from your console so let's get straight into it because uh, it's been I don't know taking too much time just talking about it so go on to this link which I'll put in the description and you want to click uh, download Xbox 360 optional media update and it'll download it as a zip file and once you have it uh, downloaded it's really small so just open it up extract it to the desktop like I've done here and you'll have this folder FFE FFFE 07 DF and what you want to do is put this folder on a USB stick transfer it over to the JTAG or use FTP like I use FileZilla if you don't know about this program watch JTAG tutorials episode 6 so you want to just connect to your JTAG and what you want to do is go on to HDD1 content the folder with all the zeros and then look for a folder called FFFE07DF if you don't if you do not have that folder on your JTAG already then just copy the FFFE07DF one you downloaded into the, Z the 000 folder in here. Uh, if you do already have an FFFE07DF folder open it up you may find a folder like this that has the 0004 uh, ignore that open the FFFE07DF folder that you downloaded and you'll have a folder with uh, lots of zeros and then two at the end and copy this one in here so it's next to the 
the one with 0004 and that's all you have to do uh, you'll now be able to play video files so um, yeah basically I will yeah I'll go over to the Xbox and show you me playing a video file alright so now that we're over on the Xbox all you want to do is go back to the original Xbox dashboard by dashboarding and holding down right bumper if you have dash launch installed that is and you want to then go over to my video apps go to system video player um, actually before we do that to check to make sure that it has installed you want to go to storage um, wherever you installed it to which will probably be the hard drive and then go down to system items and you should see the optional media update in there now which is what we want to have in there and then we go to my video apps system video player again portable device so cook up a USB stick that has the the um, your video files that you want to play or if you put them on the hard drive then I don't think it'll work I think it needs to go in like a USB stick or an external hard drive or something a portable device of some kind um, so then we just go on that so I've got my external hard drive hooked up right now so I'm gonna just look for a video file JTAG Tutorials Episode 8, why not? So I'll see, I'm, since I've got a capture card hooked up recording this right now, it probably won't let me play, but let's see. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up and hey, there configure we go. Freestyle Dash so that you can... That seems to be working. Let's play another one, let's play Episode 7. Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, what's so there you go, and if you've got any kind of video files, you'll be able to play them now from your JTAG. So, thanks for watching, and um, I know this wasn't really a big JTAG tutorial, but uh, it was requested, so I thought it's about time I made this tutorial. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you found it useful, leave a like, and if you liked it, leave a like, and of course, comment if you've got any questions, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Also, my YouTube uh, channel is going to be changed to the new layout in eight days from when I'm making this video, which... I'm pretty pissed off about to be honest because the new layout is absolutely and utterly shit. I just I fucking hate the new layout. It's horrible, but um, and it's like hardly any customization on it either. You've got like a little banner bit at the top that you can put your logo or whatever on, and that's about it. So yeah, I fucking hate the new layout. I hate how YouTube seem to make the channels worse every time they update them. But uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, let me know about that if you've if you. Um, that's a question for the comment section anyway. Uh, would you like the new layout? Because the new YouTube layout, because I find it's just disgusting. But thanks for watching, guys, and I hopefully see you guys in my next video. Peace.